Jakanowski. A little bit tight. And here's Bunyik. Good save. Kick. And at that moment, the win was against it. So look out, Moana Chick, if uh, the wind is with, in his favour. Sosa. Well, he hit that one much better than the two previous attempts. Gets a return from Alvaro. Sosa. More progressive and simple football by the Portuguese. In the middle of the field, but the build-up is very, very slow. And that particular bout of really untidy play actually is indicative of, of the type of match that we've got at the moment. Shot was from Carlos Manuel. Return from Gomes. Hit it well, but uh, Rico. Carlos Manuel, Diamantino behind him. Sosa is square of the ball carrier. Diamantino from about 25 yards. Good team in this group. Portugal slightly surprising qualifiers in that they did so by beating West Germany in Stuttgart. Damas changes his mind and is unlucky not to pay for it. And there's quite an inquiry going on in the Portuguese defence as Smolarek thinks about the chance that was missed. One fell over another. The goalkeeper came a little late. Chekhanovsky. Poniak. Federico comes to meet him. That's a useful ball to Urban. And so is the cross. Poniak! But well, I think the best bit of play we've seen. It was a good pass in the first place, good pace to collect it, and a lovely angle of cross on the header wide of the far post. The tackle by Federico has made several of them. Sosa. And Putra going forward again. And he was matched. And the goalkeeper came out and was a little concerned. The goal kick has been given. But I thought there was a nudge just before that moment. And I can tell you that the Portuguese commentator on my right was about six and a half feet in the air then. Good break by Sosa. Carlos Manuel trying to get to the middle. Still Sosa. Turned his man beautifully. Good save. It was slightly past the goalkeeper. It's quite ridiculous. Matisic is about eight yards off the ball. Now he's waved back. Now he moves forward. And he moves forward and is five yards off the ball. But in spite of that, it needed a good save by Mwinacic. But it really defies understanding. Look at the man on the end of the wall there. <laughs> 20 minutes gone in the second half. Still no goals. This is Smolarek. Boniek. And I'm not quite sure just how much Damash knew about where that ball was going. Smolarek turned beautifully. Boniek. Chekhanovsky. Smolarek. The flag stays down. The Portuguese looking at the linesman, but Smolarek has scored for Poland. Everybody wants to get into the act. Well, let's look to see whether he was offside. No, the linesman was absolutely right against Smolarek. I don't know about the man just inside him. But in spite of the valiant attempt, the ball was over the line and Poland have the lead. And Smolarek has scored his 12th goal for his country. Urban may have gone too soon, but 
Smolarek certainly kept onside. Alvaro, Shami Pacheco, Ostrovsky's clearance. Good header by Federico. The back man directed it precisely where he wanted. Oh, it's a good try by Carlos Manuel. And it was very nearly good enough. Good pace away from his man, struck it very cleanly. Two square, two behind, and a goalkeeper halfway between his own goal line and the opposition. And it's going to go in! Yes! No! Unbelievable! Corner! They're coming to appeal to the linesman. But the linesman was right up level. All credit to him. And he said, no, it did not cross the line. Well, we can have a good look. It's on by Michael Heiss. A line of four in the middle, marked by five. Oh! And Sosa, certainly troubling the goalkeeper, had to move across his goal at great speed. In the end, he didn't need to touch it. The free kick taken quickly, didn't get quite enough curl. Another gasp for Portugal. Foot. Blocked, Kamajewski. Federico is forward. Corner. Will there be time to take it? No, there will not. The enthusiasm of youth changed the start of the contest. He didn't actually have too many opportunities, Paolo Futra, but at least what he did in the opening moments of the second half gave us a second half to enjoy. And from it, Poland take the two points with the one goal scored by Smolarek. But the Portuguese can consider themselves a little unlucky, to put it mildly.